Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you in Photoshop how you can remove acne or blemishes, pimples, whatever you want to call them uh, in a very simple way that will make your images just pop and stand out. And it won't look like uh, it's been too edited or too over modulated or whatever you want to say. Uh, the photo is going to look normal, but you can remove these blemishes and acne spots. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So this image here is a great image that I received from adobestock.com. I'll put the link down below, a great place where you can get stock images for a great price. Uh, so on this image here, you can see on the face, you have all of these blemishes, these red marks here. Uh, looks like she's kind of picked at her acne or whatever it may be. And then you also see like these dark blotches around the nose. Now this image here being a stock image has been edited a little bit and you can see like the lighting has been changed and all of that which in for me in this tutorial that's great because it brings the acne out so I can show you uh, and you can see visually better uh, as to how you can remove those blemishes. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down here and create a new adjustment layer. It's going to be a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now what we're going to want to do is select the reds. Now the reason why we're doing this is if we select the reds and then we jack up the hue and then we jack up the saturation we're going to be able to do something. Now if we go down here to this little slider here and we drag it over to the left to about right there you're going to see right here basically what this little slider does is takes the top color and changes it to the bottom color so in the instance of this photograph here or when you're trying to remove acne it'll take like the red in acne and it will make it stand out as a green color. So as you can see here, uh, like the green color is going to be hovering over a lot of those really bad red places there. So this is a great way to kind of smooth the skin to kind of make it uh, the, the color that you want to make it before you start removing those blemishes. So now once we've done that, what I want to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that. I'm gonna go ahead and trash that adjustment layer and we're going to do it one more time just so I can show you from the start and the what we need to do now is select the reds just like I told you to do there and then take the hue of those reds and then jack it up maybe to about anywhere from 15 to 25 but now you need to basically what you need to do here is you need to adjust it depending on the photo that you're working with so Obviously, when I jack it up too much, she looks sick. But if I go back down, uh, she'll have a little more of that color. So maybe uh, 8 to 10. Basically, this is just to kind of get that nice, smooth skin tone color. Uh, so again, depending on the image that you're working with, you may have to do that. Uh, the number may have to be higher or smaller. But if we go ahead and look at the before and after, there's the before, there's the after. Kind of give it that nice skin tone uh, color to it. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do uh, is we're going to want to bring back the color like in her lips and fingernails and stuff like that. So in order to do that, go ahead and just select that hue saturation adjustment layer, uh, grab your paintbrush tool, uh, and then select a black color. So now once you have your black selected there, you just need to paint over uh, the areas of the image that needs to bring back the color. So like the lips, the fingernails, places like that. Uh, with this image, there really wasn't that much that I needed to do as far as bringing back the color. And we'll do something at the end to bring back a little more of the color as well. Okay, and the next thing we need to do now is create a new layer. So go down to your layers panel, go to create new layer, and go ahead and have that layer selected. And then go over to your toolbar and select the spot healing brush. Now the spot healing brush is an amazing tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So basically what what the spot healing brush does if we click on that little blemish there it'll take the area around the area that you're selecting and it will make that match what it's around so it's kind of like a little smart tool if we click on that blemish there it'll make it look like the skin around it there so that's fantastic so basically what you're going to want to do is go around and kind of paint over uh, where these blemishes are so we're going to kind of go around paint over the blemishes just like I'm doing here So make sure you're finding all of the blemishes and then there's one up there on her head So we'll go ahead and do that uh, and then we'll go down here and where you see these little black marks We'll kind of go in and we'll adjust it here Also, if you can see here on this image There's like some some discoloration where you can kind of see where the blemishes are if we go here and just kind of paint over that It'll kind of clear that out and level out that skin tone So again, you may have to play with it and the beautiful thing about the spot healing brush is if we mess up, say we select some of her eyebrow there and we're gonna give her like a unibrow or whatever we do or we cut out some of her eyebrow, uh, you can just go ahead and go uh, Command Z or Control Z and it'll undo what you've done. Or you can go to Edit, Step Backward uh, and go back to the point to where you have not messed up. So if we zoom out now on this image, we can see that we've removed all of the very obvious blemishes and you can go 
through. Uh, and if there's some like bags under the eyes, you can adjust that as well. But the last thing that I want to do, and this isn't really necessary, is I want you to grab the selector tool, which is the eyedropper tool, and then select where you have like a skin tone color, like right there. And then what you're going to want to do is go down here and create a new layer. So go ahead and create a new layer, select the skin tone there, and then grab the paintbrush tool one more time, and then kind of paint over uh, the face. So we're gonna kind of paint over there. Oop, messed up. So you're gonna kind of paint over, paint over where her skin is and kind of up there. Uh, on the forehead and the chin or whatever. And then we're going to change the layer styling to soft light. So if we go down here, select soft light, and then drag that opacity way, way, way down. So say maybe around 13 or 15%, and that'll bring back a little bit of that color that was removed earlier in the tutorial. So guys, I hope this has helped you out on how to remove acne or blemishes in a photo within Photoshop. If it has, go ahead and help me out by slapping that like button down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.